Now let's set up the phone for flashing a new custom ROM. Firstly, go to the settings and turn on developer options. Then log in with MI account and make sure you remember the ID and the passcode. Turn on USB debugging. Unlocking Add account and device to MI Unlock Download platform tools. It will help us boot into bootloader mode and flash TWRB custom recovery. All the websites are legit and all the links are available in the description below. In case of any query, leave a comment in the comment section. I would look over it and try to answer your query. Now, download MI Unlock tool to unlock the bootloader. After that, we need to choose the custom ROM we want to download and install. I'm choosing Pixel Experience here because I find it most stable and it gives me a good Pixel Experience feel. Download any ROM from the XDA forum. I'll leave a link in the description below. Download the drivers and install them. Links are there in the description. See, these drivers are of great importance. They help the computer to connect and communicate with the device properly. They are very important. Follow the steps properly and install these drivers. Now let's get started with the process. Extract platform tools. And open with CMD. Then connect your device and type ADB devices to check if your device is connected properly. Now type ADB reboot bootloader to boot into fast boot mode. Then extract MI Unlock tool and follow the steps. Please make sure that you log in here in MI Unlock tool with the same MI account that you have logged in in the phone. After logging in, click on unlock and make sure you do not disconnect in between or your device may be bricked. After the unlocking
everything is done, click on Reboot Phone. Now your phone will reboot into the system. After it's on, follow the steps. Firstly, go to the settings and turn on developer options. Then in developer options, turn on USB debugging. After that, connect the device with PC and again boot into bootloader mode using platform tools with that same process that we followed earlier. Flash the custom recovery by clicking on flash brp file. Again, don't worry about the link. The link is there in the description. You can download from there. We are on the final process of flashing the custom ROM. Firstly, copy the ROM in a pen drive. You can also do it using a SD card or using internal storage, but pen drive is always preferred. Now wipe all the data and make sure you have backed up your device if you have important data on it. Back it up before unlocking the bootloader. USB storage Disable AVB If you will not disable it, the ROM will not work So it is a very important step Now flash the ROM file and reboot Then you are good to go about some of its special features. Firstly, you are now free from all the bloatwares and ad and get a stock user experience. Secondly, it has got the latest Android 13 update. But not
not the least, you can backup unlimited data on Google Photos. Isn't that great?